for joining us here in State House. I had uh, the privilege just now of having uh, an audience and a meeting with His Excellency, uh, the, uh, the President. I took this opportunity to pass on uh, our congratulations on his uh, election uh, and to commend him on the important reform program that he has set about, which we believe will make Nigeria an even more attractive destination for UK uh, inward investment. Uh, we had also the opportunity to discuss the uh, meetings that I had when I was in Lagos uh, yesterday, speaking with uh, business people, uh, entrepreneurs, technologists, and people in the creative uh, industries. Uh, we discussed the Africa Investment Summit that the UK will be hosting in London early next year. Uh, and we committed to work even more closely still on important issues of uh, defence and security, of trade uh, and investment, and we committed to ensuring the UK and Nigeria meet uh, regularly and formally at uh, ministerial level and senior official level to ensure that the good, strong foundation stone upon which the bilateral relationship is built is enhanced uh, even further. I observed that the um, uh, the level of innovation that I witnessed yesterday uh, provides, I think, Nigeria a very strong platform for increasing its importance both across the continent of Africa and globally, and that I felt that it was in the UK's uh, interests to uh, continue our strong partnership with Nigeria. Um, His Excellency, the, uh, the President, uh, made it uh, clear that uh, he uh, saw uh, the UK uh, as a partner country for the future, and I'm very proud uh, to ensure that we turn uh, his desire for a strong bilateral relationship uh, into action. Of course, we touched uh, briefly on the situation in Niger. I made the point that the UK very much welcomes uh, ECOWAS's and his, indeed, decisive uh, action his strong commitment to democracy, and the unambiguous message that violence is not the means to uh, bring political change uh, in, uh, uh, in any circumstance, and that the commitment to democracy in, in Nigeria uh, and in the region is unwavering. This very much supports the UK's position. We wish to see peace and democracy restored in Niger, uh, and we will, of course, continue to liaise with our strong friends uh, in the region, membership of ECOWAS, of course, including Nigeria, uh, as we seek to bring about uh, stability, peace, and democracy uh, to uh, Niger. Um, I very much uh, look forward to seeing uh, a delegation uh, from Nigeria at next year's UK-Africa uh, Investment uh, Summit. Um, but I also am very keen to see uh, the creative industries which are so uh, vibrant here in Nigeria play an important part, not just at that event, but in British society uh, more generally. Uh, I made the point yesterday that Afrobeats has uh, become one of Nigeria's dominant cultural uh, exports, uh, and I had the opportunity uh, to uh, see a recording studio where some of Nigeria's most successful uh, artists have made their careers. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the UK, can I thank Nigeria for being a long-standing and strong uh, partner, and I look forward to shepherding this relationship to even greater heights in the future.